Eric and I are at the airport. That <laughs> ride here just took five years off my life. I have a little story. Um, we actually got in the Uber and we're um, in a lot of traffic. And at one point, did a hit and run actually. Um, <laughs> he literally scraped the ins entire side of his car and somebody else's car and then just proceeded to keep driving. And then the construction people around that area were like, we took a picture of your license plate. Always drama with us. Always drama. Almost missed our flight. And now we're early. <laughs> now we're early. Eric was, Eric of course, was, we get picked by TSA. Eric so. was freaking out. We're gonna be in LA soon, so it's fine. We'll see you um, soon. Can we just see our house? Show everybody your look. I love it. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Um, I'm really embarrassed talking to myself right now because there's like a million people walking by, but like, fine, right? Like, nobody really cares, right? Um, also, like, I hate flying, so when I fly, I like to do it well like and treat myself. We have refreshed our talking, about Karina. Please. Hey, um, welcome. I haven't been wearing clothes all day, but I chose to put some clothes on to do this intro. We're doing a vlog today. Um, I'm not in New York, as you can probably maybe, hold on. Oh, oh, see? I'm in the middle of the woods. Hello, hello, I can't really see much because there's a bunch of trees. I forgot to, um, I, well, I didn't really forget to make an intro to this, but I decided there needs to be an intro because you really just start off like in the airport with me going to LA. And this whole time I'm here, I'm trying to decide if I want to live in New York or LA, or if I want to live in both places. So this is really just like a trip for me to experience the LA life again. I mean, I come here all the time, honestly. Um, I used to come here like every month, but COVID happened. So I couldn't do that anymore, but now, we're back. Hopefully we can come to some kind of conclusion because it's something that I think about constantly and I don't want to think about it anymore. It's one of those things like, if I don't live in LA at some point in my life, am I going to regret it? Probably not, but I want to make sure, you know? So follow me on my journey throughout this vlog today and um, I'll let you know what I decide at the end. Ooh, Chile. It's high up here. Eric's freaking out. Freaking um, out. We just came up on this hill on Runyon and um, it's just not Eric's thing, you know? The air is different up here. I thought I was afraid of heights, but Eric brings it to a whole nother level. To new heights. <laughs> <laughs> to new heights, if you will. Um, so we're gonna keep hiking this today. Um, and up. it's gonna be great. Have I been wearing the same thing for like three days? Sort of, but that's okay. Wow, look at, the, look at that. It's insane. Wow, somebody died right here. <laughs> just kidding. Look at the views. I don't like it. <laughs> Glad we did it. We did it, connects. We did it, Joe. I'm never doing that again. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Um, Eric and I are going a little lunch and um, lunch. just testing the waters even more in LA and just really getting the vibes, you know? We're always taking the vibes. Just taking it in. We've definitely been here a lot, but this time we stayed at a house, which a is a little, little more adventurous. It's a little more, it's a little different for yeah. us, you know? Um, usually we do hotels and we wanted to get that real like authentic LA vibe. So we rented a car as well um, and are driving ourselves around. It's been cute, you know? It's definitely different than New York. I'm into it. Like I could do this. When in Rome. I could do it. When in LA. I'm so hungry. Hangry. <laughs> so I got the, um, coconut matcha gin fizz, and I'd like to do a review for you um, and see how it tastes. It actually had uh, gin, coconut, guava water, lime, aquafaba, club soda, and as absinthe. So, and I think there's matcha in it. So we're gonna give it a little taste. Oh, oh, we went in for more. Oh, um, is that a good or a you know what? <laughs> it's not my favorite. It was good. It was okay. 
Um, but Eric, I'll give this one to you. You can taste yours for this. The drink I got today is the Bebida de los Muertos. Oh. Drink of the day. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. It's black. And it's black. And Brad, get the get the ice details. Get the ice details, sorry, sorry, please. Sorry. Polo, polo, polo lounge, polo lounge. Ready? I just wanted to review the bread for you. Um, I would have shown you the bread, but it's all gone. Um, Eric really liked it. Um, I would give this all a 9 out of 10. I would have liked a little oil on the side. Um, but the guy forgot it. It's okay, though. We forgive and we forget. Move on, like. Um, but, Eric, you liked the butter and the bread. Delicious. Delinchant. Delinchant. Um, but I'm also allergic to pistachios, so I couldn't eat this piece. So I'm gonna leave this piece right here. Um, and I'm gonna move that away from me. And I'm gonna continue on my journey of eating this. Oh my god. I what is that? This presentation. Okay, wait, what's this? I'm gonna put this on here. Oh, soy sauce. Yum. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of a um, mushroom. Cheers. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> Time. Another day in the life of my, oh my god, my super exciting life. You know, maybe some people would say it's exciting. Well, I mean it is. Some days more than others. Today is not exciting. Today, I have nothing to do besides work, answer emails, answer questions, you know, just <laughs> the stuff that I don't love doing. I don't hate it, but you know, it could be more entertaining. Um, Just an update on my, should I move to LA? question. I miss New York so much. I really do. I have to admit it. So I'm in the hills, right? You have to go up these winding uh, paved streets up these hills to get to the house that I'm staying at. And um, as, you know, it, it's it's different than New York, you know? Um, we don't have winding streets like that. Um, so it's been cool, you know? It's been a different experience. However, I get sick every single time I come up here. I feel like I would adjust to it and I don't have to live up here if I moved here, but I don't think I could do it. I love the houses up here. They're beautiful. It's too much though. It's too far away. Another thing I miss about New York right now is the fact that I could just like walk out of my house and go do something. You know, I could just leave. Here you have to like call a car or you know have a car. My brother has our car right now so I don't have a car to drive around. Okay, I have a ton of work to do and catch up on uh, which I will be doing. You know, there's just something about the freedom that New York makes you feel. It makes me feel free baby girl and alive and the energy is killer. There's no energy here. I will tell you the only energy you get is in West Hollywood and when you're there it's a lot of personalities. Uh, so I'll check back with you a little later once I have some new updates for you. Tired. Since the last time we talked, I got some work, work. I got some work done, but not enough. I'm gonna keep trying to work. I just don't know if it's gonna like happen. Well, I'm working. It's just slow. For some reason, like the day feels like two days put together. I think I'm just so used to having so much to do at my house, and now that I'm like not at my house, I just. Like I have nothing to do. Maybe I do have stuff to do, I'm just not doing it. That's the one. Maybe it's just like the LA life. Everybody always tells me like when you come to LA or when you live here, it's much slower paced than New York. I think it's true. I mean, obviously it's true. If you come from New York to LA, like I'm still gonna have that mentality that like I wanna work hard and you know, and I wanna like do everything really fast. You know what I mean? I really don't know. Ew, hey, I'm gonna post this. Okay. 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 It wasn't fun. I'm just showing the fit. Get the shoes. Get the I'm shoes. Okay, I would never do that. I'm not fucking. Oh. Oh. So we're going to dinner with the girls. With my friend Hindash. Hindash. And Eric and I are just really carrying the weight of LA on our backs with these outfits. It's like heavy. It's like heavy. It's like a heavy weight on the shoulder. It's heavy. And then this butt, like. Good morning, Los Angeles. 
um, Eric and I and his friend are going to Universal Studios today. Gaudia Leviosa. Gaudia Leviosa. <laughs> I'm so excited to I'm gonna get my witchcraft on and do a few spells and, you know, ride some rides. Um, I love theme parks. Eric? The Simpsons ride, right? Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, that's definitely a perk of being in LA, so I will give LA that one. We ended up having a really chill um, weekend. There's not much stuff open here still, so there's not really a lot to dairy. I'm so excited to ride some rides today. I have some water in a wine glass because um, you gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> you gotta stay kind of hydrated. <laughs> Look where we are. <laughs> Where dreams come true. Oh wait, that's the other place. <laughs> We're here! Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful day! Yo, let's go ride some rides. We're about to go on the pets ride. It's our first ride of the day. Are you guys excited? to conclude today's video. <sighs> okay, I have written down the pros and the cons to living in LA to hopefully make my final decision right here, right now on what I should do. Okay, the cons, it's not New York and it never will be. And that's okay, because I don't want it to be. I want it to be something different, you know? You can't walk anywhere. People think you're weird if you walk. LA natives can tell me if that's true, but I feel like if you walk, you're like, Weird. And then you see like one person on the street walking and you're like, girl, get a car. I just feel like you're a freak if you walk. Like, I don't know, is that just me? No, it can't be just me because nobody, nobody walks here. People are fake and weird. These are my observations, okay? So don't even come for me. Um, not that anybody was anyways, but there's this sort of aura of like, people are trying to use people. Again, could be just me, but I've heard this be told many times by friends of mine that live here that like people are really just trying to climb the social ladder. And in my industry, it becomes even more evident when you become friends with somebody and they start asking you how many followers you have and you're like, bro, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The next one, again, this is for me and me only. There's no sense of fashion here. People are all wearing the same thing and it doesn't look the greatest. It doesn't look bad. They don't look bad. They look fine. It's just like generic, which is also totally fine if that's your style. I really don't even care just for me. I like to see people wearing weird And when you walk out of the streets of New York, you see people wearing weird all the time. And you're like, whoa, where the did you get that? Because you look dope and you look very original and very cool. I feel like I don't get that inspiration here. Like the fashion feels very trying. Like they're really trying, you know? But again, totally fine. At least they're trying. At least it's, there's something there. Then the last one is a, a, a sense of loneliness. Everything is far apart. Um, people said New York is like one of the loneliest places in the world. I think it's a joke because there's so many people there, but it can feel very lonely. However, I feel way more lonely here in the goddamn hills. And I've stayed in West Hollywood before. Before, okay, I still feel lonely and maybe that's because I don't live here But I also just feel like there's this sense that like you can't leave your house and just go walk on the street and be around People because you can't but in New York you leave your house and there's just people surrounding you everywhere There's vibes, there's energy, there's, uh, there's just like Everything just smacks you in the face, you know, I like that um, But we can move on to my, my pros list because I like pros better than cons <laughs> sunny weather. Yesterday it was cloudy and raining all day, but today it's sunny and most of the days are sunny. I hate the winter. I love being warm. I love feeling the warm embrace of the sun on my titties. I love the heat. Hotter the better. Give me the raise my face. Like I just love feeling it. Ooh, except wear sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen. No tan. See? Ooh, <laughs> white as the next one is it's a very C and B scene sort of place, which I do like. There's some part of me that is an extrovert sometimes. Most of me is an introvert. However, sometimes I like to be seen, especially when I'm wearing a cute outfit. I want people to look at me. So it is kind of fun that people like really notice you here. You're really being looked at and like taking pictures of and 
like that. It's fun, I like it. Next one is there's a bunch of creators here that I really admire and it's really nice hanging out with all of them and getting to know more people every time I come here. Um, and it's really nice to be able to like bond on that level. You know, you don't really get that in New York. The next one is fun. There's festivals here. Well, not exactly here, here, but like there's festivals all around here in Las Vegas, um, in Palm Springs, especially Coachella. Oh, another one, this house, like being in a house, you don't really get that in New York. You know, you can live in like a, a townhouse, which is nice, but like this space, what the f I could do so much around here with this space. I could have so many people sleep here. I could have my friends visit all the time. And you can totally do that in New York, but it's just never gonna be like this big unless you wanna pay like stupid amount of money, you know? That's always nice. And lastly, um, they have Universal Studios here. And I love riding rides and oh, I love Universal. They could use a few more like updated rides, which I, they are doing a Mar uh, Super Mario World. So that'll be really fun. But I love Universal and it was really fun to go the other day. <laughs> And that's my whole list. I have more pros than cons, which is great. It's a great sign. Lay my computer down and let me sum this up for you. I feel like I would live here part-time. I would definitely get an apartment or a house out here and keep my one in New York and be out here more often. Now that we're all getting vaxxed, and COVID is coming to an end, hopefully sometime soon. I can really like come out here more, spend more time, make more friends out here, learn more about the city, maybe get a house one day out here. But for now, I think my home is still in New York. And I think I'm gonna stay there for a bit longer, maybe get to the 10 year mark, which is, I'm at seven years right now, so we'll see. Honestly, I could say this right now and then literally tomorrow I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna live here forever. But as of today, that is the decision. And this trip was really nice to take to learn more about the city and like feel what it's like to live in a home here with a car. It was nice. Um, I leave tomorrow morning and I'm a little sad, but I'm really excited to see my doggy. Oh, I miss Saya so much. But that's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching my vlog. Hope you liked it. It's fun doing different shit like this, you know? It doesn't feel like work at all when I'm vlogging. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me everywhere else. Check out my hair care line, xmonohair at xmonohair.com or check us out on Instagram, xmonohair and xmonocolor on Instagram. You can also text me this number right here. It'll keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys wanna subscribe, you can do that too. You can subscribe and you can click the like button and the bell icon. But if you don't wanna do that, I get it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.